Fred Fury Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti. I'm in company of Ruben Fletcher, director of Uncharted, coming out in cinemas from February 17th. Hi, Ruben, first of all, thank you so much. From Rome to Rome. Oh, so thank you. Here. No, we're so excited to be here and talking to you about the film. So, uh, I have to say that when I watched the film, I thought that the lesson behind it uh, was that the most important thing sometimes is not the treasure, but the quest and the people you share the adventure with. What do you think? I'm so glad that you got the message of the film. That's exactly what we intended, that at the end of the day, there are things more valuable than gold. And in the case of Nate and Sully, Sully is designed as somebody who's very selfish and he only wants what he wants and he's always backstabbing and he's not trustworthy. And at the end of the day, he has a real black or white decision. Do I keep the gold? Do I save my friend? And ultimately, he decides to save his friend and sacrifice the gold. And that's the lesson of the movie, is that some things are more important than the treasure. Since this film talks potentially to two specific audiences, you know, the video game fans and the action film lovers, did you take them in mind while working on the film? What was the secret to reach everybody? Maybe the family heart of the film? Yeah, absolutely. There's always a, a balance when you're making an adaptation of something that's beloved by its original fan base. I had that experience when I was working on Venom and now again with Uncharted because everything that the fans love about the game, they don't want to see it when it comes to the big screen, you know, feeling like something different. So you have to respect the gamers, but at the same time, make a movie that's entertaining to all audiences, whether you've heard of uh, the movie or not. I mean, sorry, heard of the game or not. And so uh, in the case of our hero, Nate, the way that we managed to tell a personal story in the midst of all of this big action was to focus on an emotional core which is his search for his brother. And so at the, at the center of the film is this need of this orphan to find family, whether that's his brother or in his new surrogate brother, which is his new pal, Victor Sullivan, who is played by Mark Wahlberg. In the press conference, you talked about the cinema references you had in mind while making the film. How did you play with these homages from Star Wars to the Goonies? And why did you think that they could fit perfectly in the story? I, they weren't so much homages, but as somebody growing up in the 80s loving movies, you know, these were these blockbusters that were filled with great stories and great characters. And so in wanting to make my own big action adventure film, I thought it was really important to just center on the characters and make sure the story was one that an audience could invest in. The other thing I love about the 80s classic action movies is that there was so much humor in them. Like, I find Indiana Jones to be a really funny movie, in addition to be exciting and everything else. So uh, putting humor at the center of Uncharted was super important for me as well. Talking about you as a filmmaker, what kind of a cinematographic opportunities could this adaptation offer for you? How would you define its potential? As a filmmaker, Uncharted was a dream come true movie to get to make. Uh, the amount of action and the scale of the action was something I had never done before. And so learning to work with VFX in a way that I hadn't used them quite as much was really exciting and just also very educational for my evolution as a filmmaker. But on top of that, um, just being able to shoot in Europe. All of my other movies were made in America, and so being able to shoot in Berlin and in, also in Spain uh, just was a, a dream that I had always had of being able to make movies all over the world and featuring the incredible uh, locations throughout the film, whether that's uh, our version of New York City, which was actually Berlin, or Barcelona and the ancient history there, or our version of the, the, the uh, South Pacific, which we actually shot on the Mediterranean in the south of Spain. We used movie magic to, to make some of those locations, but uh, just on a personal level, it was so exciting to get to make a film internationally. Thank you so much, Ruben. Good luck with Uncharted. And we've been talking to Ruben Fleischer, director of Uncharted, only in cinema theaters from February 17th.